um, you know, building a home or a building, big or small, is a large, important, and often very personal project and investment that um, owners, designers, and builders get involved with. They devote their they devote their minds to it, and often their hearts and souls as well. And uh, we at Logix Brands uh, never fail to appreciate when we're chosen to play a part in making uh, these dreams and aspirations come true for our customers. Um, our first category is actually one of my favorites. It's uh, most outstanding small residential, where you know budgets are sometimes limited. The focus is on efficiency, and it's not blowing you away with a, a grand, huge project. But the focus is more on efficiency and the design that's perfect for the occupants themselves. And um, so today, um, the, I'm a pleased to announce the first runner-up for small residential is the Viking Longhouse, which is located in Luther, Oklahoma. Luther, Oklahoma. Uh, Logix Territory Manager supporting this project is uh, Sam Johnson, our local Logix dealer is Delizy, and the owner of this building is and builder is Casey Murray. And so we congratulate everybody associated with this very cool and unique building. So let's get into it a little bit. Um, this is a, a 2,300 square foot pr footprint, and this involves 1,700 square feet of Logix walls. Um, and the Logix walls were actually built in, um, in a very quick seven day period. Uh, the reason for, law, I think Casey was originally looking at going wood, but with wood prices up as they were uh, and are, um, Casey made the switch. He thought the time was right to, to look at ICF, which he'd heard of while in school. This design has, concept has roots in the ancient Viking longhouse. And it actually creates an ideal space for passive cooling and heating techniques. In the in the good old days, in the old days, they used stone to create the walls and wood framing for the roof. And now Casey's using Logix ICF. So in creating this A-frame, Casey used the same concept. The A-frame roof itself spans 38 feet, but the walls overhang nine feet. Uh, the, the, the roof overhangs nine feet on each side. And that's going to provide space for covered porches and greenhouses, which is a really cool part of this whole project. You can see it's starting to take shape here. The rectangle slab is uh, oriented east to west and measures 20 foot wide by 80 foot uh, deep. And um, the wood frame gable roof um, is placed with uh, two inches of and insulated with closed two inches of closed cell spray foam insulation topped off with an ag panel metal roof. The downstairs is gonna feature a garage, a utility room, restroom, living room, and kitchen, which is gonna be open to the second floor with a big ass ceiling fan filling the space. The second floor is gonna be supported by two by 12 inch ledgers and anchor bolts. And then the eye joists are gonna span between the two uh, 12 inch uh, ledgers, as you can see here. And that's how the floor is being supported. The north-south facing uh, windows um, allow for passive cooling and natural ventilation. Each bedroom is going to have a facing uh, operable skylight to act allow for stack effect natural ventilation. In the kitchen, there's a wood stove for heating the entire house, and the stove pipe spans the entire height of the open space. The Logix blocks were finished with a stucco in the interior and exterior, essentially creating an EFA sandwich or EFA system inside and out. And the Logix blocks help create the thermal mass in ICF, help create this passive home. If it all goes according to plan, Casey doesn't think he's going to have any heating or cooling costs besides the wood heat. And the, the fans in each bedroom have a large custom wood vent above each fan, creating passive air ventilation. Here's a look of it at the in the evening. It integrates a functional greenhouse within the home when the, where the garden is in the pantry and it's considered just a utility, just an electricity and water are. It's a fantastic and a very cool design. It's something we can all learn from. And um, congratulations again, uh, Casey with Sam and Delizy for the Viking Longhouse. 